there's always that uh, opportunity that you get to do something back to the people that helped you to become whoever you are. And for me, I became this person by staying in that country and I came over here and I, I realized that I have the capability of doing something back to the people in that country for the next generations, where I can actually help them not to get poisoned by this heavy metal. It means something that's really great. That's, that's feeling that you get that you know that you can help these people is something really great. We chose this point of use water filtration technology uh, for Sri Lanka because we're dealing primarily in rural areas that are also afflicted by chronic kidney disease, which uh, requires us to consider uh, filtering out of heavy metals. The heavy metal contamination in Sri Lanka itself is a problem because uh, most of the agricultural products that they use in the country, it's not the, the things that we actually can recommend right now. Back in the days in like 60s and 50s, those are the products that we actually used in, even in the uh, US, but we found out that those uh, products contain certain heavy metals that actually is harmful for humans plus the uh, environment. The filter works by first pouring water through the filter. As the water travels through the filter, uh, the various heavy metals and bacteria get trapped in the porous surface. To make the filter, we first start by adding a certain combination of uh, sawdust. The sawdust is used to provide a porous surface for the filter itself. Uh, when the sawdust gets burnt out, um, it creates pores in the filter for water to travel through. And uh, the bacteria and heavy metals get trapped in this porous surface. Hematite is used uh, for the heavy metals to be filtered out. And kaolin is being used as our substitute for clay. Those get mixed together and then water is added at a certain rate. So after mixing the kaolin, hematite and sawdust, and water. Uh, we put it in a compactor. The compacted uh, material then gets put into a kiln and is fired for about eight hours. What we're trying to develop is a pot that can filter water. Now in Sri Lanka, in most, uh, most of the parts that are affected by this uh, heavy metal pollution in drinking water, have their own uh, system where they make pots for you know day-to-day -day use. For pots to cook food, pots to collect water. So it's not something that we are implanting new. What we're doing is we're gonna give something that they know that actually they can be used uh, in the normal condition where they don't have to take special care of. Uh, and that will be really cheap because we're using the material that we can find over there. And we're going to use the same uh, kilns that they use to you know, bake the uh, normal clay pots. So we're not going to cost them a lot of money our target is to go at about $5 per, per filter so that they can actually you know, use that filter for at least half an year to have safe drinking water. The whole uh, research is funded by EPA. We uh, won the grant last year. We had the uh, capability of winning the grant because we are looking at something special and we, we, see, we, we saw the uh, capability of what we're trying to do. And uh, the ultimate goal of this whole project is not just stopping and developing a filter to the de developing country. The whole process is trying to develop a filter that we can sell all over the world. A version, that we are looking at another version which is going to be a portable version where all the campers, hikers can use to you know, provide themselves with safe drinking water. The, from the profit that we get from that kind of a product, we are using that product to address the drinking water problem in the developing countries. So part of that money will go to the developing countries to address their drinking pro water problem where we can actually, we'll be able to provide much cheaper uh, water filters for all the people within uh, maybe like one to two dollars. We can cost, cut down the cost of uh, manufacturing even in the uh, developing countries and uh, make it a much cheaper product.